VGDev stands for Video Game Development, and uh, we're the Video Game Development Club here on Tech's Campus. And what we do is we make and finish games. Uh, and the finish is the important part, um, because it's very easy to start work on a game, but it's very hard to actually go through and finish a game. Uh, so we therefore bring together students of a variety of talents. We have uh, 3D modelers, level designers, programmers, 2D artists, musicians, all things that you need to go into a game. Num Noms is a game that teaches children how to count in order. It is adorable, simple, and quite simply just fun for kids. It lets them choose their own theme so they get to decide what they're controlling, but the general concept is the same, just going around, catching numbers in order. First thing we did is I actually drew some mock-ups on paper just to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. Then we made a basic prototype in something called Processing, which is a very easy language to use. It's a Java library which has a lot of graphic support. Um, at that point, I pitched it to everyone, got people together to come work in the game with me. We had weekly milestones, things we wanted to do. We wanted to get the core gameplay implemented first, so things moving, then get things catchable, then start getting in all the different themes, and like slowly building up to what we actually have now, which is a cool finished product that people are having fun with. The name of our game is Black Oak Manor, and um, I guess the closest genre I could give you would be co-op adventure fighting game. This is a four-player, really intense, cooperative, fun game uh, that could be put on platforms like the Wii U that are really new and uh, really interesting. The biggest highlight, it would be this right back here, where we finally got to show off the game and see just all our hard work pay off and see people having fun with the game and, and seeing what parts of your design really worked out and what parts you can improve on and just getting that feedback and getting to see people have a really fun time. I think for me the, the big win is when we see people using strategies that in classroom settings they're taught to do this just because, uh, but when they figure out I want to do this because it's going to help me get it done better or faster or going to help my team's communication, it gives them a chance to, to learn the conventions, to try some things out, to make some simple games, and I think that alone, the fact that they get to work on what they want, uh, is the incentive. Uh, making games is hard and a lot of people want to make games and underestimate it, but if you stick with it, it gets easier the more you do it. Um, and don't be too ambitious starting out. You gotta make simple games first and you gotta be okay with spending some time making Tetris and Pac-Man.